I am Jodi Antandang and I am thrilled to be here to talk about um, something that is changing our world for the better and that is the role of technology in education. So um, we live in an era where technology touches almost every aspect of our lives and education is no exception. Today, uh, I want to explore how technology is transforming education, making it more accessible, personalized, um, engaging, and effective. The first one is the, let's talk about the evolution of education. So let's start by um, taking a step back in time for centuries. Education was confined the four walls of a classroom. Imagine a typical classroom from the past. A teacher standing in the front using a chalkboard to explain concepts and students sitting in rows taking notes from textbooks. So this traditional model had its limitations. Learning was uh, mostly passive and students had to be physically uh, present in the same place at the same time. Now, uh, let's fast forward to uh, today. Technology has completely reshaped this model. With the advent of the internet, smartphones, tablets, and computers, learning is uh, no longer limited by geography or time. Students can access uh, information and educational resources from anywhere in the world at any time. So this is a um, profound shift at a uh, profound shift that opens up incredible opportunities for learners and educators alike. So uh, the second one is the accessibility and inclusivity and one of the most significant impacts of technology in education is its ability to make um, learning accessible to everyone. In the past, um, access to quality education was often determined by where you live or your financial situation, but um, technology is changing that. Uh, online courses, educational apps, and virtual classrooms mean that a student in a uh, remote village, a uh, remote village can access the same educational resources as the as the uh, student in a major city. So, um, let's um, consider the example of the massive open online courses or the MOOCs. So these are a these are a free or low cost online courses offered by universities and educational platforms. And anyone with an internet connection can enroll and learn from some of the best educators in the world. So this democratize this democratizes the education and giving everyone a chance to uh, learn and improve their lives. Technology also promotes inclusivity. Tools like speech to text, screen readers, and the adaptive learning software which um, help the students with disabilities. So for example, a student who is uh, visually impaired can use um, screen reading software to access digital content. A student with dyslexia can use um, speech-to-text technology to write essays. So these tools um, ensure that all students, regardless of their physical or um, learning challenges, have an equal opportunity to succeed. Moving on to the third one, which is the uh, personalized learning. Another transformative uh, aspect of technology in education is personalized learning. In a traditional classroom, it's challenging for uh, one teacher to cater um, the individual needs of every student. So students learn at different phases and have the varying strengths and weaknesses. 
So, this can make it hard for some students to keep up while uh, others might feel held back. So, technology offers a solution to this challenge through um, personalized learning. Adaptive um, learning software uses algorithms to analyze a student's performance and tailor the learning and um, the learning experience um, to their needs. For example, if a student is uh, struggling um, with a particular math concept, the software can provide additional pra practice problems and explanations. So, uh, if another student is excelling, the software can offer more advanced um, material to keep them engaged. So, um, this personalized approach allows students to learn at their own pace, revisit concepts, um, revisit concepts that they find difficult, and um, move ahead when they are ready. So, it makes learning more effective and enjoyable as students receive the right level of challenge and support. The fourth one is um, enhancing engagement and interaction. Let's talk about engagement. Traditional learning methods can um, sometimes be dry and uninteresting. But technology has the power to make learning fun and interactive. For example, the virtual reality or the VR can um, it can um, transport students to different places at times. Imagine um, imagine studying uh, ancient Egypt and being able to virtually walk through the pyramids or explore the Nile River. So, this kind of immersive experience makes learning more vivid and memorable. Um, interactive simulations and educational games also play a um, significant role in enhancing engagement. In science class, uh, students can use simulations to conduct virtual experiments seeing the immediate effects of their actions without needing a lab. So, educational games turn on um, learning into fun challenge, encouraging students to compete and collaborate with their peers. So, these tools is not only, um, does not only capture students' attention, but it also deepens their understanding by making abstract concepts tangible and relatable. So they are uh, they encourage they encourage um active participation, critical thinking and um problem solving skills. Let's move on to the fifth one which is um uh, uh, preparing students for the future. The world is um changing rapidly and the skills needed to succeed are evolving. So, in the past, memorizing facts and figures might have been enough. But today, um, but today and in the future, uh, students need to be critical thinkers, problem solvers, and lifelong learners. They need to be more uh, comfortable using technology and adapting to a new tools and methods. So, by integrating technology into education, we're not just teaching students academic content. We're also uh, helping, uh, helping them develop uh, essential 20, 21st century skills. This, include, um, this includes uh, digi digital literacy, which uh, is the ability to use and understand technology as well as skills like critical thinking, creativity, and collaboration. So, for example, uh, using digital tools for group projects help students learn to uh, work together. Even if they're not in the same place, they can, uh, they can learn to communicate effectively, share ideas, and solve um, problems as a theme. As a theme. So, uh, these are skills that will be um, invaluable in their future careers where remote work and digital collaboration are becoming more common. So uh, moving on to the 
six one, which is the uh, which is supporting teachers. Technology isn't just uh, beneficial for students, but it is a powerful ally for teachers as well. Teaching is a demanding job and teachers often have to juggle many tasks from lesson planning and grading um grading to managing the classroom and communicating with the parents. So digital tools can help ease some of this burden. For example, online grading system. Online grading system um can save teachers time and reduce errors learning management systems or um, the lms allow uh, teachers to organize course materials tracks tracks student progress and provide feedback more ef um, efficiently professional development platforms also offers um, teacher opportunities to improve their skills and stay updated with the uh, latest um, educational trends and best practices online communities and um, online communities and resources provide a space for teachers to share ideas ask questions and support each other next one is the um, challenges and considerations of course um, integrating technology into education is not without its challenges one of one major um, issue is the digital divide because not all students have the um, have the access to the internet or devices which um, can widen the the gap between those um, between those who can benefit from technology and those who cannot. So it's essential to work towards ensuring that um, all students uh, have the necessary resources to, uh, to access digital learning. Another challenge is um, ensuring that teachers are um, effectively uh, trained to use new technologies. It's not enough to have the tools, but educators um, need to know how to use them effectively to enhance learning ongoing training and support are um, important to help teachers um, integrate technology into their teaching practices there are um, also the need to strike a balance between screen time and traditional learning methods while technology offers um, many benefits but it is it is also important to use it um, truthfully uh, and ensure that students still have the um, opportunities to face-to-face -face interaction and um, the hands-on learning so uh, before I conclude we will hear from mr. Lawrence Dominic Consulta and he will share with us how technology has impact his education and why he thinks it is important. Computer engineering student, technology is a vital part of my life or on my daily life. Each morning, smartphone wakes me up, gives me the weather forecast and news updates. I use up to set reminders to track my schedule and play music, which helps me to start my day efficiently. These tools keep me organized and ready for my classes and projects. Additionally, I often check my email and class notification to stay updated on any important announcement or assignment that did my attention. Throughout the day, I rely heavily on, tab on my laptop and high-speed inter high internet. They allow me to access my lectures, research materials, and and also coding resources from anywhere, whether I'm at home, in the library, or in a cafe. Collaboration tools like video conference and cloud storage make group projects and communication with professor much easier. I use various software for coding, debugging, and managing assignments, which are es essential for my studies. Platforms like GitHub are indispensable for version control and collaboration on coding projects. These technological resources are crucial in helping me to develop my skills and complete my coursework efficiently, ensuring I stay on top of my academic responsibilities. 
in my free time, technology provides entertainment and connection. Like I enjoy streaming movies, TV shows, and music on my and playing music on my smartphone or laptop. Social media just help me stay in touch with my friends and family, allowing us to share experience and keep up with each other lives. Additionally, I often yeah. Additionally, I use fitness tracker to monitor my health and stay active, which is important to maintaining my maintaining a balanced lifestyle. Whether I'm learning new skills throughout online tutorial, working on personal coding projects, or relaxing or relaxing with a video game, technology enriches my life and supports my growth as a student. This balance of work and leisure enabled by technology makes my life as a computer engineer student both dynamic and fulfilling. That's all about. So, thank you so much, Mr. Lawrence, for sharing your experience. It is clear that technology plays an important role in modern education as your story illustrates. To sum it up, uh, the transformative power of technology in education is undeniable. It makes learning more accessible and inclusive, personalizes the learning experience, enhances engagement, and prepares students for the future. As we embrace this uh, technological advancement, we must ensure that uh, they are used truthfully and equitably so that uh, every student and teacher can benefit. And thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your time today. Let's uh, continue to innovate, collaborate, and um, harness the incredible potential of technology to create a brighter and uh, more inclusive future for education.